Well, if so, how do you sustain a business model in which users don't pay for your service? Senator, we run ads. I see. One of the most recognizable names in the world has to be Mark Zuckerberg, the famous creator of Facebook and the eighth richest man in the world as of 2020. He has been recognized as one of the most influential people of the current age, and also has donated a lot of money towards important charities, along with other tech entrepreneurs like Bill Gates. Today, we'll be talking about how Zuckerberg made his fortune and how he spends it in luxuries, charities, and to achieve personal dreams. Welcome to Nine Figure Life, your place for daily motivation and inspiration. If you want to be part of our giveaway, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment the hidden message. We know Zuckerberg as the rich creator of Facebook. Although there are other lesser known facts about Mark Zuckerberg that eventually helped him create Facebook and his other business ventures, like his natural talent for coding and programming. Mark learned to code from a very young age. He learned coding from his early childhood days, as his father gave him C++ for dummies as a birthday gift. And from there, he entered into the world of coding. His father also got a tutor for Mark to teach him his coding skills, and his tutor quickly realized that he was teaching a genius. The tutor, software developer David Newman, admitted that it quickly became difficult to stay ahead of his pupil, referring to him as a prodigy. His estimated net worth is currently $82.6 billion. Despite his billions, Zuckerberg doesn't have a taste for opulence, especially when it comes to cars, clothes, and travel. It seems like this is a trend common with other tech entrepreneurs. Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, Bill Gates, and other billionaires don't really care that much about luxury, despite other people with lower net worths caring very much about appearances and buying expensive stuff. He does, however, have an affinity for developing his real estate portfolio. At the end of the day, no matter how much Zuckerberg spends in luxuries or things that don't really make any sense, it is very hard for him to lose all of his money while he's alive because he makes too much in one minute. His net worth is even higher than some country's GDP. Combined, Zuckerberg's net worth is greater than the combined gross domestic product of Jordan, Nicaragua, and Barbados and he earns much more than that on his own. Jordan's GDP is about 46.9 billion US dollars. Nicaragua's is 15.4 billion US dollars, and Barbados is 5.5 billion US dollars. In 2018, Zuckerberg earned roughly $1.7 million an hour. It took Zuckerberg less than an hour and a half to earn what the average American man with a bachelor's degree will earn in his lifetime, $2.2 million. Even though ironically, Zuckerberg dropped out of college. In fact, in less than two minutes, Zuckerberg makes what it takes the full-time median US worker a year to earn, $48,328, which is why he's so rich. The final nail in the coffin we're going to provide as a statistic is probably the most alarming one of them all. Zuckerberg could give every single living person in the US $100 and still have more than half of his $82.6 billion net worth left over. Mark Zuckerberg can allow himself to live off an annual salary of $1. He previously made a reported $770,000 from his Facebook salary and bonuses, but he slashed his salary to its current rate in 2013. That means a huge chunk of his wealth is tied to Facebook stock, of which he owns quite a lot of. Let's talk a bit about how he spends his fortune in charities and business ventures across the world. Let's begin by talking a bit about his real estate portfolio, as despite his frugal lifestyle, Zuckerberg does enjoy buying a lot of real estate. He purchased the Crescent Park neighborhood home in May 2011 for $7 million. He also dropped more than $59 million on two adjacent Lake Tahoe properties and also owns properties in Palo Alto, San Francisco, and his own personal island. Yeah, you heard us completely right. He also owns quite a big piece of land in Kauai, an island in Hawaii. Back in 2014, Zuckerberg purchased a 750-acre property on the north shore of the Hawaiian island of Kauai. The purchase includes two separate parcels, the Kahuaina Plantation, a 357-acre former sugarcane plantation, and Pala'a Beach, a 393-acre property with a white sand beach. 
Zuckerberg paid a reported $100 million for both properties. Although a source told Forbes at the time that he plans to build just one home and has since spent another $45 million to purchase additional land on the island. Collectively, Zuckerberg has purchased 10 properties, though he has a knack for also buying surrounding properties to ensure his privacy. He bought four homes surrounding his main Palo Alto residence and a stake in a beach adjacent to the plantation he purchased in Kauai. Zuckerberg and Chan are very well-known philanthropists, donating most of their vast wealth to good causes. And one of the major philanthropic acts includes signing the Giving Pledge. The Giving Pledge is a commitment by the world's wealthiest individuals and families to dedicate the majority of their wealth to giving back. Bill and Melinda Gates launched the pledge with Warren Buffett in 2010, asking signatories to donate a majority of their wealth to charity either during their lifetime or in their will. Mark Zuckerberg announced in 2015 that he intended to give away 99% of his Facebook shares, then valued at $45 billion during his lifetime. Zuckerberg and his wife, Priscilla Chan, were some of the first people to sign the Giving Pledge in 2010, and they have focused their philanthropic efforts on education and medical research. Zuckerberg and Chan decided in 2014 to donate $120 million to schools in the Bay Area. Four years earlier, they had pledged $100 million to the public school system in Newark, New Jersey. Through the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative, which was founded in December 2015 to advance the couple's goals in healthcare and education, the pair also pledged to donate at least $3 billion over the next decade to cure all disease by the end of the 21st century. Zuckerberg is famous for his passion for driving relatively cheap cars as he was seen driving a car Acura TSX, Honda Fit, valued at less than $30,000, and was spotted driving a Volkswagen Golf GTI, a car that costs about $30,000. But that does not mean that he has not spent money on at least one sports car. A car, Pagani Huayra Italian, which was priced at about $1.3 million. He also spends a bit of his money on family travel. Zuckerberg and Chan met with the Pope at the Vatican, and he used more than a million dollars in Facebook money for personal travel in 2018, making it the most expensive year to date. While in Europe, he posted photos of his seventh anniversary celebration with Priscilla Chan at the Parthenon in Athens. And in May 2019, he visited Paris to meet French President Emmanuel Macron. This just goes to show that, despite most knowing Zuckerberg for being one of the richest people in the world, few know what it actually means to be one of these. His net worth is impressive at his young age, and he has amassed quite a sizable fortune that his family won't be depleting anytime soon. Did you know? When he was 12, he created a messaging program that his father used in his dental office, allowing the receptionist to notify him of new patients without yelling across the office. The name of this app was Zucknet. It is considered a primitive version of AOL's Instant Messenger, which came out the following year. He's been so good at coding that big companies even approached him before he even entered college to buy his programs. More specifically, when he was a senior in high school, he created an app called Synapse Media Player, an MP3 player that kept track of the users' favorite songs and made playlists based on their choices. Essentially, an early Spotify or Pandora. Mark Zuckerberg also attended high school at Phillips Exeter Academy, a private school in New Hampshire. During his time there, he was approached by several companies with job offers, including AOL and Microsoft, before he even graduated high school. But Zuckerberg turned them all down. Microsoft sought to acquire the company and its founders. But instead of working for the Seattle tech giant, Zuckerberg and co-creator Adam D'Angelo, who went on to found Quora, got a patent for the tech and went to college instead. Terry Semmel, the former CEO of Yahoo, who reportedly offered Zuckerberg that sum, told The New Yorker that he'd never met a person who would turn down a $1 billion offer. When he offered Mark the large sum that would instantly turn him into a billionaire back in 2006, he turned it down, saying that Facebook was his baby and that he wanted to keep growing it and running it. Considering his current net worth, it seems like Mark was right about growing his company on his own. Thank you for staying with us. Don't forget to leave us a like, share this video with your friends, and also subscribe to our channel to receive more engaging business content like today's video.
And if you want to be a part of our giveaway, remember to comment the hidden message. The winners are announced on our Instagram page. Hey, if you enjoyed our video, you just have to watch this one.